Hey, Mr. Parker here to review one from Dire Wit Films. You guys may be familiar with their other films, uh, Pleasures of the Damned, and uh, the amazingly hilarious cannibal parody, Isle of the Damned, which I highly recommend. You have to see it. This is Seventh Day, which is nothing like that for this movie. This is a, a more serious uh, film and completely different, which is nice to see them still doing movies, but... I'm looking forward to their next movie as well. But uh, Seventh Day, I heard a little buzz about this movie. Uh, it's a serial killer film, which is supposed to be pretty graphic and pretty disturbing, and it does live up to the hype. Seventh Day uh, follows seven days in the life of a serial killer named Alan, who is a, kind of a, a loser, definitely. He's a cook and whatnot and works in a restaurant. He uh, goes on to narrate the whole plot, and when he's narrating, I mean the whole plot, his whole story, as in if he's going to become some famous serial killer who is worldwide renowned and almost loved for his disgust, disgusting acts of atrocities. That's He doesn't necessarily say that, but you can tell that's what he wants and what he thinks is going to happen. Uh, it's kind of strange because he has some sort of like muse that follows him around with a microphone stitched in his hand. He's faceless and he's carrying a recorder. He does not say anything. He's obviously only there for Alan. Alan only sees him. I'd say that it's just uh, an expression of how things are. Kind of like a painting. It has no real point other than it hangs on a wall. She's dead. I'm not, of course. Sometimes I try to feel sorry for them, but I just don't. I'm always too busy feeling alive to the point of it being, i to be honest, it's really so sort of sickening. But in the very beginning of this movie, I really enjoyed the fact that he says he's well-liked, he's smart, and he has self-control. In, in a matter of a couple minutes, he completely thwarts these, and it's untrue. He, uh, his, his co-workers treat him like crap. They obviously hate him, find him creepy. His obsession re is repulsed by him. And uh, he goes in, and uh, he just sips alcohol casually uh, right in his car and drives away. Obviously not somebody with self-control, and obviously someone who's not very intelligent when they uh, should be on the down low for murdering a bunch of people. So Alan is obviously not who he thinks he is. And as the film progresses, we see more and more of this. Of course, we get kind of a generic history of a serial killer, why he does it. That's always the type of deal. His mom was bad, and he was treated, mis mistreated, raped, things like that. And uh, he goes on a mass killing spree. Um, he's killing women. I'm surprised he would have obviously been caught sooner, I believe. But uh, he goes on killing, and uh, in graphic detail, I must say, there's some really nasty stuff in here. At first, I was thinking there wasn't much gore, just your kind of usual stuff. But as it progressed, I think about the 20, 30-minute mark, somewhere around there, you see a really gratuitous murder that's really nasty. He ends up ripping the person apart, cutting down the back of them, and showing their spine, which is really graphic detail. It looks really gross and really good all at the same time. I realize what I'm doing may seem perverse, but actually, it's symbolic, or rather, a truth. Now, every time a man fucks his wife, this is really what he's doing. Now, he wants her to scream. Not because he wants her to enjoy it, but because he wants to know she's suffering. That's why most people never know what real intimacy is. They just won't acknowledge what it's really all about. But the, I think the acting semi decent. I love the fact that they uh, portrayed a serial killer more realistically. You always see in these Hollywood movies. I don't want to blame Hollywood, or even most serial killer movies. Period, indie or not, the serial killer's some big mastermind, like Hannibal Lecter or something like that. And uh, as if you read myths about serial killers and things like that, you find out that there are usually people who failed at everything else in life, and <laughs> they weren't very good at it. Uh, for fact, Ted Bundy wanted to be a lawyer. Obviously, was not a lawyer. But uh, as far as I think that was a really a realistic aspect is that uh, he also has a neighbor who he does coke with who's really weird. And there's a really odd, <laughs> semi-disturbing scene with him talking about a child in the neighborhood. But uh, I would recommend this movie. It is nasty. It is a very, very dirty movie. And uh, you... I want to say you feel bad for Alan, but you really don't. I mean, he is a... He's a drug addict at points. In the movies of drug addict, he just... 
has a complete uh, clouded uh, image of himself, and he's obviously a psycho serial killer that is a very lives very dirty and disgusting. Uh, I would recommend this one. The end, uh, it's of course it's narrated. I think that's kind of a good idea with a serial killer movie because you can dwell more into their head. And uh, I don't know. The title Seventh Day is kind of cool, but you might be expecting something a little different on the seventh day. Uh, I don't want to really give much away, but I would recommend this one. It is a, a nasty little serial killer movie that uh, I think portrays a serial killer. Mm. Not necessarily completely more accurate, but a little different. And I, I guess I would say a little more accurate than a lot of other serial killer movies I've seen. That's Seventh Day. Uh, check out their other movies, Isle of the Dam, Pleasures of the Dam. There's a short film on here. There's commentary on here. I would recommend this. I, I thought it was a really pretty good movie, especially the special effects. Top-notch stuff here. Fingers getting hacked off. Uh, all sorts of nasty stuff that looks really gross. Have a good one. Beautiful day out, isn't it? A lot of pretty scenery to stare at. Not much of a talker, are you? Beautiful day like this and you're out here alone? Where's your girlfriend? Uh, I just I came alone. Don't have a girlfriend, do ya? Good looking guy like you? Just... Hey, look at me. Look at me. What? What the fuck? God, no. Oh. You, you're pathetic! Holy shit! God. Fucking pervert!